The groom, who made headlines for being too drunk to get married, has represented himself in court to recount his version of events. Jacob Brooks appears to be a changed man, telling Nine News he's won his partner back and is keen to put the ordeal behind him. Jacob Brooks appeared relaxed entering the Port Adelaide Magistrates Court, sporting some good news. Yeah, we're back together. Oh, you are back together. News. News. What, uh, what brought about the reunion? True love. Inside, the court heard the day the 41-year-old musician was supposed to marry his love, the minister refused to conduct the ceremony because Brooks was too drunk. He became abusive and aggressive and when police were called, resisted violently. His alcohol reading at the time was 0.25 per cent. Representing himself, Brooks explained he'd been out the night before the wedding for a few drinks with friends. He'd also consumed three beers and two shots of whiskey on the wedding day. Today the drunk groom admitted, I lost my temper with the minister a little bit and put him in a headlock and tapped him on the chin a few times. I have forgiven him but I'll never forget it. Brooks was convicted of disorderly behaviour and resisting arrest. He was placed on a $500 12-month good behaviour bond and forced to pay more than $800 in court costs. Outside court, Mr Brooks hinted another wedding day may be in the pipeline but insisted it'd be a private affair. The ordeal failing to dampen his passion for composing lyrics. So forward and further they flew, returning in time with eggs that'll give birth to manifestations of forgotten dreams. Justine Northey, Nine News.